All right, YouTube, Madam Roy back once again, back to you with my video of the Arnott Mall here in Elmira, New York. Um, trying a new video editor out, so bear with me. Um, hopefully this is going to look good once it's uploaded. Uh, just a little history, the Arnott Mall opened in 1967 as the Mall Shopping Center, at which time it had only 40 stores and J.C. Penney as the original anchor. And as you'll see later on in this video, uh, J.C. Penney is still uh, in existence in this mall. Um, the mall has just over 100,000 square feet and has several anchors which unfortunately have closed uh, some of them were bradley's kaufman's um, macy's and the bonton and there was also a sears which you will see towards the end of this video uh, mom and i visited here um it was a couple of weeks ago when we were visiting relatives in upstate new york um, the occupancy in this mall is down considerably. Um, the actual Wikipedia page boasts that it has about a um, 60 to 80, uh, 60 percent occupancy. I would say it's down more closer to uh, 40 percent occupancy now. But as you can see, we're about to go into the J.C. Penney here, which surprisingly enough. Uh, the J.C. Penney was actually doing very well. Um, I saw quite a few people in there, and um, it appears that they ha still had a lot of uh, merchandise. So that kind of boasts well for them. So we're going to head inside right now. All right, folks, now we are heading into the J.C. Penney, and you can see Mom's there looking very nice as usual. Uh, you walk in here to the uh, what appears to be the women's section, and surprisingly enough, there wasn't a lot of clearance merchandise. I know in our J.C. Penney's, uh, a lot of stuff is on clearance. And here we are, walking through more of the uh, <laughs> women's section. You can see we got uh, some unmentionables there, so we'll leave those unmentioned. Um... But, you know, like I said, not a lot of clearance merchandise. Everything was pretty well arranged, so I have to give All right, them... folks, here we are in the men's section. As you can see, uh, they had some big men's clothes here, which luckily I don't need anymore, LOL. And uh, here's the shoe section, which all very nicely arranged. I got to give them kudos, nice and clean. And we're just about done here in pennies. I just wanted to show that this one does have a Sephora which um, is one of those fancy uh, kind of perfume and jewelry areas. Not all pennies have them, honestly. All right, folks, so here we are walking back into the mall area out of the J.C. Penny. As you can see, the trees are very healthy. They're growing just fine. Um, a lot of stores here on the right of closed. Here's a granite art that's closed. Uh, probably one of those regional stores. It's funny, I look in the middle there, it seems like every mall I see has some of those um, gum machines, gumball machines. Not exactly sure what that store was on the right, but it uh, looks like it might have been some type of clothing store. Um, here we're coming up to an Olympus, I believe. Now, our mall here in uh, Chesapeake actually, or Olympia, I should say, our mall in Chesapeake actually has one of these stores that's still open, although this one is much larger than ours. I'd say about double the size. And walking down to this corridor, I believe this was the old Bonton. Um, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. I'm just going by what I was seeing on the, uh, of what was left of the lettering. Um, but as you can see, overall, the mall is very well taken care of. You got a great escape there on the left. I love this kind of vintage, um, almost 1970s architecture that you see on the left here. You can kind of see me in the window, too. And that brickwork is really nice. This was um, an art gallery, but because we were here on a weekend, um, I guess it was closed. But it does appear that they are still active in this store. I would bet money that that was originally a restaurant at some point in time. And we're going to go past here, and I'm going to look one more time. 
I, yeah, I'm going to say that was the Bonton at one point, but you guys, once again, can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, again, that's more of like a 1980s architecture. And this was a little thrift store that they had. I was very happy to see that. Um, good good thing to see in a month. And here we are, or say here I am, walking through this thrift store. Now, this was mainly um, kids' clothes and you know, women's clothes, but they did have a few other items as well. Um, they had a lot, some books, they had shoes. Um, I don't know if they would have necessarily considered this a quote-unquote thrift store, but that's what I would call it. You can see you got a lot of uh, uh, shirts and things here. That was actually a, a man's uh, sweater, believe it or not. All right, so here's some more of those ladies' shoes. Um, wow, I still can't believe women actually wear those it, it, those uh, high heels. That would that has to be torture. <laughs> um, but here we're passing some uh, books. Uh, once again, very very uh, nice little thrift store to have in a mall, and very unusual to find that uh, in any mall. I've never actually seen one in a mall before. All right, so I think everybody's had enough of the uh, thrift store. So now we're back out in the mall. Uh, you can see it says check them out online. So um, I haven't actually looked at their website, but apparently they do have an online presence. Here's that Great Escape, which, um, yeah, I'm not even sure what that really is. Look at those beautiful skylights. Uh, this mall, I have to say, um, again, be, other than being kept up very, very well, um, has a very nice, like, late 1970s, early 1980s aesthetic that I really appreciate. Um, very similar to a lot of malls um, of that era. And unfortunately, a lot of that has, of those malls have been updated to, you know, look more modern. So it's kind of nice to see that every once in a while. Uh, there's a pagoda right in the middle of the mall. Almost every one. All right, and here are some of the uh, clothes stores. Let's see, that looks like it was a nail place at some point in time. Uh, I got a finish lane over there, and there are those massage chairs that are famously in, once again, every mall. Our mall has them, and they really do feel good, especially if you've been on your feet all day like I usually am. Um, this is the Shoe Depot. Uh, not usually found in a lot of malls, not at least where we are here in Virginia. Um, but apparently up in New York, that's a big thing to put them in malls. And once again, I would say it's a good utilization of the space. And if people know it's there, although I have to say that they do tend to be a little high a price for my taste. Uh, the Children's Place, um, that was actually, was that open? Yes, that was actually still open. Uh, once again, in my area, a lot of those are independent of the malls. Here we're coming towards uh, the food court area. Now, this mall is almost all one story except for the food court and what used to be the uh, cinemas. This is definitely the uh, hub of the mall. And I have to say, in this area, it gives me a, a very Jefferson Valley Mall vibe. If any of you have ever been to uh, Jefferson Valley, New York, um, their mall is very similarly laid out in the middle to this one. Um, here we're going to go up the elevator, and I must say I was feeling a little freaked out um, because this is the one thing that did not look like it was maintained very well. Uh, you can see it's, uh, I'm not even sure honestly what this is. It's got, uh, was Innovation Bruiser buttons, I think they're called. I know Diesel Deuce, you would know. Um, the indicator wasn't working. It is a glass elevator, um, but it was really, really squeaky and very shaky. There you guys are going to get your uh, best view of this whole thing. Look at those skylights. Once again, very, very similar to Jefferson Valley Mall in that respect. Uh, elevator opens up to the food court, and the food court really was was pretty empty. You can see a lot of these restaurants over here to the left have gone out. Um, that almost looks like it at one time it was a Wendy's, but probably many, many years since it was that. 
Um, and I, I have no idea what some of these are, but there are still a few businesses open here, uh, restaurant wise. Uh, this was obviously a Mexican restaurant at some point. Uh, bonus round, uh, that was an arcade. Um, not sure why that wasn't open. It looks like that uh, all the machines were there, maybe just closed for the day. You can see here you have your very typical, um, what appears to be Japanese, and next to it your Chinese restaurant. Um, all right, folks, so as we're leaving the food court, we'll go ahead and head down the escalators. You can see the uh, Regal Cinemas that uh, was up there. No, no one knows if they're actually going to reopen or not, although um, I think they have a good chance, especially with the relaxed um, mask mandates and things that are happening right now. Uh, now we're walking down towards the uh, water fountain. This is kind of the middle of the mall, I would call it. Uh, what is that? Modern Nail Spa. And you can see all the beautiful tile work. Uh, very, very 1980s-esque. Uh, there's the glass elevator we were just in. And the water fountain here was uh, surprisingly clean, although people always throw in those uh, coins. That's very, very typical. r not Mall. Looks like it has a dedication plaque right there. Very, very, um, again, uh, I keep repeating myself. I'm sorry, folks. Very 1980s-esque. Here we go down the final corridor. It is an FYE, which is very unusual to find nowadays. Ours have all closed in, in our local malls. And, yeah, so that is going to be just about it for this uh, video. Um, we're walking down right now towards where the Sears is, and I had a issue with some of the file footage, so uh, you'll know in just a minute, folks, if uh, I was able to go ahead and uh, fix that or not. I filmed this with the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus, and uh, that phone is on its last legs right now. Uh, Bath and Body Works there on the left. Oh, I love their um, Sweet Pea Lotion. I use it all the time. Got a clothing store, T-Shirt Studio on the right. They make uh, custom tees. And over here, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm thinking this was probably the Bon Ton. Um, the first building you saw in the beginning, the first uh, department store, I think was probably the Kaufman's at some point. Let's see what that says here. Please use south entrance outside. Yeah, at some point, people were probably using that as a main entrance into the mall, which really there was only a, one or two main entrances, and only one uh, was actually well marked. So here we are. There's the Burlington. That's the one of two department stores that are still open. And um, that was kind of on the small side. And here we come, walking right down. There's a GNC. Got to get my vitamins there before I leave. Ha 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 ha. And now we're heading down towards Sears. All right, folks. Now we're heading down towards the last section near the Sears. You can see there's a music store right there. It was closed. Another one of those trees that's been growing up. Was that Robert M. Sides? And it appears that there are a few people walking down here, some mall walkers. Uh, I only saw a few. Uh, honestly, the mall was really quiet the day that we were there. Uh, a few more closed stores there. Um, I can't read what that was. Uh, more gumball machines as usual. But now we're coming towards the Sears. Now, the Sears is very, very 80s-esque to me. Um, pretty much every Sears I've ever been to in almost every mall has that signage, and that signage is definitely from the 80s, and yeah, there's a little more of my handiwork. <laughs> I'll get better, folks. It, uh, it comes with time. Looks like there's an Auntie Anne's over there to the right. Uh, I should have panned over there more. Um, 
but yeah, this end of the mall is is pretty dead, uh, as a lot of malls are now that have uh, Sears's, at least in their wing. Um, but this Sears hasn't been closed for too long, I think a little over a year. We're going to get a little look in here, folks. Um, as you'll see, there's like nothing left. I mean, they, they gutted this Sears totally. Uh, no fixtures, no anything, just uh, some lights on in the background. Um, now we're heading back towards the Burlington, and this is actually going to be it. Um, I don't have anything else. Thank you for watching this. Please continue to like and subscribe. And as always, make sure you have a blessed day. Most malls have bowls.